Okay, go ahead and tell your story. Okay, it was the year that I came back from your training and we started doing the rhythmic movements as an introduction. We got everybody comfortable with their rhythmic movements before we moved on to anything else. How old is this child? He was five or six years old. Okay. And he was much bigger than the rest of the kids, but he just was a big, big child. He was nonverbal and he was frustrated and he would get aggressive because he couldn't communicate. I mean, that's honestly, I think that's what it was. He couldn't communicate. So we started doing the rhythmic movements with him because I took the class in September, I think. So we did them with him and we might have, I can't remember if we started protocols, but we came back from a break and he started talking over break. Like wow. not just saying like ball, duh. He was talking in almost complete sentences. Wow. Like it was there the whole time and he just couldn't get it out. And that was the only major change to his um, programming. So there, there was no medication changes, anything like that. So that was pretty unbelievable <laughs> that that happened. And that year when we were doing rhythmic movements and um, reflex protocols with, with every student, we did have, when we came back to the school year the next year, a lot of kids just talking that didn't talk before. So that was amazing. And I didn't want to take away anything from the speech therapist, but I would always tease her that it was because of us that he was talking, not because of her. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh yeah, you always take the credit. It's fine. But no, it was pretty, it was uh, and she honestly said to me, I don't know, because I've been doing what I've been doing for this long and he wasn't talking then and you changed to do this and he started talking. So I can't argue with you. Yeah, yeah because speech is a sensory motor skill. Yeah, it's That's so cool. it's just so cool. It's so cool to see what the kids can do. I, I have a little girl this week that we need to exit her from OT because she's achieved her goals and we've only had her since October. And she's just done so amazing. 